Hello, good morning. My name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to the dentist. Now, I went to the dentist in America, all right? Terrible experience, horrible. They do a free exam thing and take all my x-rays and stuff. And then they're like, okay, so it's gonna be $5,000. I'm like, I'm like, I don't have insurance. I can't pay that. There's no way I've, I don't have that much money. And they're like, well, I don't know. So I like was really stressed out. And this is shortly before I left to Korea. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it in Korea. Everywhere else is cheaper than America in health and dental and all of that. So now today is a day I booked an appointment via the Keikoa app. <laughs> it's very early in the morning. I never get up this early. I have a, a phone meeting call I have to do first and then we're going to go to the dentist together. Um, I mainly just need like a deep cleaning. I have like a problem down here on this tooth that needs fixed. And I don't know what they're gonna say. Um, I don't know because I hadn't, didn't get a second opinion from the dentist in America and they're like, oh, this is pretty serious. So I'm kind of scared. And they're gonna be like, oh, your teeth are gonna fall out. <laughs> That's like everyone's worst fear. Uh, I doubt that, but we'll see what they say and how much this is gonna come to because it can't be any more than $5,000. Let's do a little comparison of United States dentists and then Korean dentists. That's what we're doing today. So good morning. Before we get into this video, I wanna talk about today's sponsor, which is Etta Love. It's one of my favorite jewelry brands. And I'm wearing the herringbone necklace right here, which is my favorite necklace at the moment. They've sent it to me, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a snake. And then I'll show you some, some other stuff they gave me, but they're doing a giveaway and everybody who enters the giveaway gets a $25 gift card from Etta Love and all the links are below. Hellcat turquoise ring, and I'll put the name of this ring right here on this beautiful necklace. It's actually my favorite jewelry and it's very, very high quality. And that's why I like, I've worked with them before and I decided to work with them again. Thank you very much, Etta Love, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into the dentist. Dang it, it's really raining. All right. I'm really tired. I didn't sleep at all last night. My sleep schedule is so messed up because all my business and social media stuff is all on the exact opposite time schedule as me. So um, I stay up really late, like releasing things and responding to things. And I just live on the floor these days. I am not mad about. I got this from the convenience store. I don't really know what it is. Apparently it's um, black tea. So we'll have a little caffeine. Also be joining us. Um, I'll kind of explain a little wow. bit. I have not used this little. Hola. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. We're gonna go to the dentist now. I miss this little camera. It's so easy to hold. I need to get another little vlogging camera, just one that I can hook a microphone up to. Now this dentist, uh, I do believe that they speak English. When you get into the dentist clinic, you just sign in on a questionnaire and iPad, very easy. They just ask you a few questions, not really a lot. See the robot here. You get in and you swish some stuff in your mouth. You see the inside of your mouth, which is terrifying. There's also a little robot keeping timer for you to swish whenever the sound goes off and you spit it out. This is terrifying. This is the worst part. And I'm sorry, it's it's bloody because they had just cleaned all my teeth. All right, it is finished. I'll go I'll go back and tell you the experience. It's it was um a little disappointed in the pricing. I don't know if it was because it's an English speaking clinic or if the pricing here is just like that without insurance, but I will update you. Let's get home. Maybe I should get something to drink or eat. I don't agree. <laughs> so my teeth are clean now. Let's get back and I'll give you a full dentist review. Before we get back though, I find it interesting 
to ride on the subway. Outside of each bathroom in the subway is a vending machine full of personal care products, which I think is really a really good idea. We also have storage lockers yeah, at most stations, which is convenient, and convenience stores, obviously. Oh, <laughs> hey, other camera. All right, so dentist review. I got myself some chocolate for reward. This is the cheapest chocolate I could get at the convenience store. Hey, what do you do whenever you figure out you have a cavity that needs filled? Hey, I'm about to get some chocolate. The thing that I have come to discover about all dentists, this is my first time going to the dentist like internationally, but I've been to a lot of dis dentists around the country in the US. And every time you go to the dentist, they always tell you something different. Every dentist tells you something different depending on how much money they wanna make from you or whatever. Like this has happened so many times. Like I never get the same answer from the dentist because I try to get my teeth cleaned like uh, once a year or every six months or whatever. Biggest difference here than in America of dentistry is their uh, technological advancement. Like whenever the last time I went to the dentist was two months ago, the x-ray machine, it hurt because you know how you have to like put those things in the side of your mouth, uh, ah, open your mouth, ah, you do, and it takes forever. This lovely machine, you just put a little thing right here, hold it, and it takes the whole thing. You don't have to move. You don't have to keep taking piece, plastic pieces in and out. You just, and then just like, it's like a robot. It was a robot x-ray, which I don't want to get x-rayed so much, but the x-ray was really cool. They're like, no, you don't really need a deep clean, which is what I thought I needed because that's what I was told from the, my last dentist's visit. And they're like, and they said, the deep cleaning is going to be um, $5,000 in America for all the cleaning that I needed. That's what they told me. They're like, well, this is, this is severe. You really need this. And then I go to this dentist and they're like, no, you don't really need the deep cleaning. I'm like, oh, what is real? Someone just tell me without trying to take my money. Obviously I don't have hardly any, like I'm, I'm really good with brushing and flossing and I try to get my teeth cleaned often. It's the best that I can do with my limited budget. But uh, yeah, they're like, no, you don't really need it. So they did the, um, the normal cleaning. I have some cavities, but they're small, so they're fine. But I have one cavity that should have been filled. But I was so shocked and surprised because the cost for one filling, the, um, the white kind though, was 300,000. I'm like, that's like $230 or something. Cause I was willing to get my cavities filled here. I just, I did not, but then they're like, to do a wisdom teeth extraction, they said it would be like, like 50,000 or something, which is much cheaper. Like it's a lot cheaper for them to like take out my teeth than to put in a filling. I was so confused. I, I was like, I thought that dentistry was supposed to be a lot cheaper here. Like that type of filling that is not any cheaper than it would be in America for one filling. So I was really surprised by that. And I don't know if it's just this dentist clinic because sometimes they charge higher because they're English speaking. But the cleaning was fine, like priced, but that was just like, I'm like, why? So I didn't get it done. <laughs> and I will eventually just someday whenever I can actually find a country where I can afford it and they do good work. They did the cleaning, which was hell, by the way, which is always hell. Like you can hear the really like ear piercing in your ear, you know, and then it's just like they, oh, another thing that is different than in America is they put a thing over your face and have a little hole for your mouth. So you don't have to like have the light shining so much in your eyes. It's much better actually that way. They should always put a thing over your face like that. And also before the cleaning, they give you a numbing mouth thing that you just kind of swish around for three minutes and they have a little timer even. And, but yeah, the technology is, is really nice. Can then little water things squirts whenever it, whenever you spit and then they take pictures, like actual pictures of your teeth. It's terrifying, but like, I'm like, I've never seen a picture of my tooth like that. What I got done, it was for the x-rays, it was 30,000, which is around 20 so dollars. And then the cleaning was 60,000, which was around like, it, it came out to $68 for the cleaning and x-rays, which is not bad. I mean, it's normal and a checkup as well. The dentist guy came in and gave me a checkup and he said, it's all fine. And I'm like, I thought that like from what I heard in America, what they told me 
that all my teeth are gonna fall out and it's gonna die. I'm gonna live, I'm gonna make it guys. So I know you're happy about that. But yeah, this is the experience of life and it's weird and I mean, this doesn't seem like anyone's on the same page. <laughs> But my teeth are clean, so that's the dentist in South Korea, or my experience anyways. I'm sure going to an authentic, only Korean-speaking dentist clinic would be different. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this onion jelly sandwich. They put like this weird jam jelly in like savory sandwiches. It's like a jelly, but this is like onion and potato or something. Mm. One time I don't read. Let's take that off. There's meat on there. I'll see you in the next adventure. Uh, Six terrestrial.